that's beautifully played by Ostapenko, just beginning to all click into place now, isn't it? Serve doing all the damage, but lots to admire there as well. was a nice mini sequence there for Ostapenko. Eight points without reply, but I don't think she'll be too frustrated at losing her way momentarily, if it is momentarily. Third foot fault of the match already. Four and a half games played. Just something to address and yeah. Something to keep an eye on for Thomas Sweeney. Yeah, she's just beginning to find her range on that serve as well. Ten points out of eleven. She's got real momentum now. She was two love down, but for the first time in this match, Ostabenko leads the way at three two. Приветствую вас, друзья. flags amongst the spectators on court one it's uh, filling up nicely as well and a uh, little wonder because it's uh, nicely poised it does look as though Ostapenko has settled into this one now she's uh, weathered the early storm that Ziegemann was able to apply on proceedings here but yeah she needs to find a, a foothold once again I would venture serving at 2-3 Well, Ostapenko, she's doing a really good job here of just beginning to open up these gaps and these opportunities. And she's doing it on the first return and on serve as well. She's doing it on first serve as well. really well played. Good response by Ziegemann. She was under pressure.
Well, it was there for the taking. She made up the ground, but she couldn't quite create the angle. Every credit to uh, Ziegerman there, though, for the way she was able to steer that one cross court. Still looked as though Ostapenko had the opportunity to come away with a point. Both players having a lot of joy with the depth on the baseline. Doesn't look as though that protective strapping is having too much of an impact on Ziegerman's movement as well. I was just keeping half an eye on that situation. well inside the line that's a that's a simple misjudgment by Ziegemann never looked likely to uh, drift long and that was yeah a good few centimeters inside Third deuce game of the match. One apiece so far. Excellent on the return again. Just doing enough with the racket just to ask the question of Ziegemann. And having asked the question, she comes away with the perfect answer as well. She gets the break point. is inside the baseline for this second serve. Yeah, and this time she gets the sweeping forehand volley absolutely right. Made a mistake in the first game, but no mistake this time around. Second break of serve for Ostapenko. Two breaks to one in her favor. Four games without reply. She clearly has the momentum once again. Well, that's it's becoming a bit of a running joke now. Not quite sure what uh, is happening here. Even the crowd are seeing the funny side. Ostapenko likewise, although yeah, she'll, she'll just have to watch her step, literally. It does raise the question, however, though. I mean, Ostapenko, she's been foot faulted four times in this match already. We're only six games into it, and you just wonder whether that would have happened under a, a human observation with a human line judge. Change of uh, weaponry here for Ziegemann. Think had a human ever foot faulted Ostapenko four times, we might have had a bit of an inquest from her. Certainly would have asked her one or two questions. 30 of Ostapenko leads. Oh, 
and this could be the most comfortable service game of the match. Certainly heading that way. Yeah, wrong footing. Ziegemann there. And this is ominous now because Ostapenko has only dropped one point over her last two service games and she's now one away from the opening set.